Matilda is 34 years old. She is a housewife. She has been married to Andrew for 10 years, but they don't have children yet. Andrew got his first job after graduating from the university. However, that company made him work so much like a slave, and he was always tired. Matilda wanted to help him financially. She started to learn how to edit video clips. She started to get clients, and she was slowly able to get more expensive jobs. After a while, she started to invest her earnings. After trying to fix errors, she was able to gain a lot. At one point, Matilda offered Andrew that she could pay the rent. Andrew was suspicious about her offer at the beginning. Wait, because of me working and earning money, we were able to live. I don't think you are earning enough money from your hobby. Actually, I'm earning a decent amount of money and also stocks are doing pretty good. Wait, what? So you don't have to keep working for your current company. Really? Yeah, do whatever you want. Andrew was really happy about this. Few days later, he informed Matilda that he resigned. Matilda was also happy. All she wanted was to live happy together with Andrew. Matilda thought that everything was going on the good direction. Then Andrew brought this unexpected suggestion. Hey, would you mind living with my mother? Wait, what do you mean? We don't have to move back to your mom's. It doesn't matter what job you get, I have enough earnings. No, 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 I'm saying that we should rent a new place and live together. Wait. You should look at this. Andrew handed Matilda a catalog. It was a catalog of a new high-rise building. Are you serious? You want to move into this place? Yeah, finally I can make my mother happy. Wait, wait, did you see the price? Monthly rent is $5,000, which is too much. But you're earning money from stocks. I think it's not a problem. Actually, Matilda was able to afford this, but it will be very tight. She also wanted to save money in case they got a child in the future. Also, Matilda doesn't like the idea that Andrew was using her earnings, not his, to make his mother happy. Do we really have to live with your mother? You don't like this idea? Yeah, because they're both still healthy. Your dad is still working. You know that my working hours are long and I could barely spend time with them. Please, I need to give back to my parents. Matilda didn't really want to agree but she ended up saying yes. She regrets this decision a lot later. Wow, what a fantastic place! The view is amazing. I'm happy that both of you are liking it. The first day they moved in, Andrew's parents were very happy about this new place. Andrew, I'm so proud of you. You must be earning so much. Oh yeah. Matilda nudged. Well, actually, I'm not the one who's paying for it to rent. Andrew's mother and father both looked surprised. Matilda is earning a lot from her stock investments. We're paying the rent from her game. Oh, so it's not you who are paying. Your wife stocks. Andrew's father and mother both looked shocked. At the beginning, both of them were living like they're walking on an eggshell. Matilda told Andrew that his parents didn't have to live like that. After Andrew told them that they can live like it's their own home. However, Andrew's parents were very extreme people. They started to not hesitate at all. Hey Matilda, I prefer the rice to be softer. Hey Matilda, can you bring me mayonnaise and some beer? Hey Matilda, I want that new bag from Chanel. Can you buy it for me? I want some golf equipment. They started to treat Matilda like a housekeeper who earns a lot of money. I will of course take care of the house, but it's not my job to buy you guys stuff. Matilda was turning down their request to buy stuff. Andrew's parents started to get angry about it, and they will complain to Andrew about it. Why are you always home? How can you make money like this? Are you gambling? If so, this is just pure luck. Yeah, it's not her skill set, just the luck. Andrew got a new job. His job now doesn't have any overtime. Salary was lower than before, but because Matilda was covering all the basic expenses, he could use his earning for himself. He is now wearing an order-made suit. He will also wear expensive bags and shoes. Andrew looked happy because he was into fashion. But because of Andrew's way of dressing, his parents couldn't understand why they couldn't get the same. Andrew will tell Matilda that she should buy his parents what they want. Matilda never said yes to it. Why don't you take care of them instead of me? They're your parents and you have all the money you earn to spend for yourself. Andrew didn't say anything. He just looked very pissed, but he probably knew that Matilda was right.
Andrew was asking Matilda because he wanted to spend all his money on himself. Andrew started to act harsh towards Matilda. You're always just staring at your computer. You don't even put makeup on it. Do you think you can be a match to me dressing like that? What do you mean, be a match to you? We're inside our house. Does that matter? When women get lazy, they just get uglier and uglier. Have you ever seen yourself in a mirror? Also, Andrew's parents started to act like that towards Matilda. Can you do something different? You may be able to earn a lot, but if you cannot take care of the house, you don't qualify as a wife. Don't forget that you are a wife. Well, don't forget that you guys are able to have this life because of my earnings. Besides, mother, you have no health issues and you aren't working. Why don't you take care of the house also? Father, you quit your job. What if something happens to me right now? I'm not asking you guys to respect me, but I want you guys to remember what I'm doing for you guys. Andrew's parents couldn't say anything. Their face turned red. After the conversation, they started to talk behind Matilda, not directly to her. Since they were speaking loud, Matilda could still hear them. What is her attitude? She is always looking down on us. I don't like it. Yeah, do you remember what she said last time? She is thinking we're an idiot. She changed a lot. After she got lucky in her gambling, she is now big-headed. If she can do it, I think we can do it as well. Why don't we invest? Yes, if she can, we can. Good idea. We should start. Matilda couldn't believe what she just heard. It's not a gamble. Matilda was able to earn this much because she studied a lot. Three of them actually started to invest. They were considering Matilda as their rival. Even while eating breakfast, they will say things like, Oh, I need to check the stock market before someone else. Andrew started to open up his laptop on the breakfast table. One day, Matilda saw something very surprising. That day, Matilda was going out with her friend. There was some anime event that Matilda really wanted to go to. Matilda coincidentally saw Andrew. He was walking out of a high brand store. Matilda was watching him. Then suddenly, a young lady Matilda had never seen came out of the store as well and wrapped her arms around Andrew's. Matilda and her friend hid in the corner. She started to record what Andrew is doing using her phone. Matilda was very shocked because she thought that Andrew and Matilda was having a not bad relationship. She never expected this. This moment, Matilda decided to get divorced. Matilda started to look for an apartment to move out. She stopped doing all the houseworks. She didn't feel like doing it at all. Of course, Andrew's parents were mad about her. What is your attitude these days? Whatever you say makes me really angry. You are just a wife. Don't forget that. As my parents said, I think you're acting weirdly these days. It's not right what you're doing. I don't like everything about you. What do you mean? We're just going to live with our family. You should leave. Andrew handed Matilda a document for a divorce. He was ready for it. I already signed. I want you to sign as well. Matilda thought this was a chance. Matilda signed it right away. Okay, please leave. Okay. Matilda started to pack her stuff. Now we can just live together without an intruder. Let's celebrate this. We should order some expensive sushi. Andrew's parents were talking loudly intentionally to have Matilda hear it. Matilda doesn't get bothered. She kept packing. I'm just going to take this bag. Rest of the stuff, I'll call a professional to have it collected. Andrew and Andrew's parents looked very proud. They even said to Matilda that she should get that professional mover as soon as possible. Matilda couldn't understand how they could act like this. Without Matilda, they're the one who will be in trouble. Matilda went back to her parents' place. After a few days, she got a professional mover to have herself moved away. Now this place is ours. Andrew was smirking. Matilda pulled out photos from an envelope and showed it in front of Andrew. Oh, by the way, we haven't officially got divorced yet. Andrew's jaw was dropping, photo capturing Andrew going out with someone. We have to sort out about you cheating on me before divorcing. Andrew's parents seemed to not know about what Andrew was doing. They were both looking pale. Wait, how, how could you figure out about this? I guess you underestimated me. You two were walking around town holding hands and I saw it how stupid it was. Let's talk about the rest with a lawyer. Andrew, don't care about what Matilda says. We have an ultimate weapon. Oh yes, you're right. Matilda was wondering what they were talking about. If we could invest like 50,000, it could be five times more. Matilda thought to stop them, but she didn't. 
She thought that they should learn a lesson. Good luck. Matilda was walking towards the entrance to leave. Oh well, I'm going to be super successful. You will see. Matilda ignored it and walked away. She went back to her parents. Later on, Matilda and Andrew sorted out about their divorce. Matilda was able to have Andrew pay her compensation. Also, they didn't have to split the wealth because Andrew cheated on Matilda. Somehow, Andrew was acting very confident. He even said he will pay the compensation in one pay. Matilda was wondering if they could successfully multiply their wealth by investing. However, Matilda figured out that they haven't done it yet. Matilda received the money from Andrew. She invested in what she got, of course. Matilda bought a small apartment for herself. She was settling down and leaving peacefully. One day, Matilda got a call from Andrew. She forgot to block him. Hello, what's up? Matilda, please help. Oh, what have you done? We invested 50k but it didn't do well. I now have a debt of 50k. How could you be able to hit this gamble right all the time? Well, you called it gambling but I wasn't gambling. I was studying a lot and investing. Based on that, it's not like buying a lottery. Oh no, please, Matilda, come back. If you don't, we have to leave this place. That will be good. You know, the place is too expensive for your earnings. My parents are not convinced. They think we should keep investing. Oh, you better stop them. It's not my business, though. You should take responsibility to take care of your own parents. Goodbye. Hey, wait. Andrew was saying something about Matilda hung up and blocked him. Matilda heard from a common friend that Andrew's parents actually invested more and they now have 30k debt on top. Andrew was ditched by the girl he was seeing because of his debt. Now Andrew had to work many hours as possible to pay back for the debt. Matilda is doing super good. She earned enough for early retirement but she still works as a hobby. She is now trying to find even more hobbies.